Hello, this is Nagoji here. I'm recording this video for like the fourth time now, so eh. <laughs> Should have probably not said that, but anyway. <sighs> Today we are reviewing Off of Us Godzilla review 60 years later. And yep, this movie still holds up. One of the best classic of the show ever. I think it's peak when it comes to show ever. I love the characters in this movie. Movies, the kaiju action is pretty good. The fight with Mango Mafia and Godzilla is pretty good. I wouldn't say much for the Capita Mafia's against Godzilla because that is a bit of a letdown, in my opinion. <laughs> Probably what stops it from getting a 10 out of 10 and makes it a 9 out of 10 for me. But I do enjoy this film. This film's good. It's perfect. Perfect in every way. I love this film. It's amazing. The colors are... It's just filled with life. The colors. I know this is not the first Godzilla movie in color, but it feels like it. Like the colors are pop out, pop right out. Like it's so vibrant and beautiful. And yeah, I love this movie. And this is also the first movie, the first Godzilla movie I saw. Yep, I have this movie. Thank, thank me, the BG fan. Well, that agree, it's not what got me to Godzilla. Uh, fun story. When I was a baby, um, and my eyes finally opened, my mom showed me a Treadmaster. My mom was holding me in her arms, and she was holding a Treadmaster Godzilla in the other hand, and just showing it to me, and just, like, try to grab at it. So I was a Godzilla fan since seconds after I was born. So, been... Because of fans and birth. Yep. I've been a Godzilla fan my whole life. <laughs> yeah. But I love. I love this movie. I think this movie is 9 out of 10 for me. Probably peak when it comes to show. Uh, absolute peak. Peak, I'm telling you. Peak. I don't think there's any bad. When it comes to the show, in my opinion, here's what I think of the show. It went up here, then it went down a little bit at, it went down a little bit at Godzilla Raids again, then it went back up a little bit at King Kong vs. Godzilla. It just went on a roller coaster. It just went up, then down, and then up, and then up again. Then down a little bit. Then it went whoop, all the way till 73 and then it went back up at 1974, 1975. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of 1965 to 1973 show. I think it's probably the weakest era, in my opinion. The show is technically, I really don't tend to love the show. Era. Like 1965. 1973 all those movies are just boring well maybe because of us and megalon does have a little bit of funness to it especially when you're watching with your audience but if you're not watching this with an audience i don't tend to see myself watching this because it is a pain to get through and my first Godzilla is not a pain to get through you enjoy your time with it. And it's perfect in any way. I love this film. This film's so good. It's peak when it comes to show. Absolute peak. Like, I just love the human characters in this film. Like, most of them are memorable. Obsession of the comic relief character. Which I'm not a big fan of him. The villains are good. Everything about this movie is good. I love this movie. Even though I can't remember most of the cast's names at the top of my head, I just don't remember. New Supporter Lady. New Supporter Guy. New Supporter Guy. New Supporter's Boss. Doctor. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't remember the names, so I'm just going by the character roles. So, yeah. Yeah. 
para Android. I enjoyed this movie. I enjoyed this movie. This movie is so good. And it's probably peak when it comes to show up. And I will love this movie to the end of the days. Nine out of ten. Perfect. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. With that said, it's an to sign off. And remember, stay bad, G fans.